Hello everyone. Welcome to the Growthologist Junior. So now we are going to learn something with fun. So are you ready for the real fun? Well, so today's topic is coordinate geometry and the sub topic is midpoint. So let's see how we can do the questions if it is relating to the midpoint. And here where can we apply this midpoint concept is first suppose you are on this graph at a position of 5 on the x axis your friend is at a position of minus 5 on the negative x axis someone asked you to come to the midpoint of that so what do you do would you like to know what you should do well so before that let's see for which shapes we are going to learn the midpoint concept so these are the shapes which is circle midpoint triangle midpoint of the base parallelogram midpoint so how we can work out these midpoints for that we are introduced with two methods so the first method is apply the formula directly so this is the formula for the midpoint which you can see a and b coordinates you will be given for the midpoint coordinate simply apply the formula using the a and b coordinates like this now they give you the midpoint and they asking you to find one of the unknown coordinate in that case what you would do yes simply substitute the midpoint coordinates and then you have to equate x coordinate and y coordinate finally you get x and y values that's awesome right now for the midpoint of a circle which method are you going to use is it the first one applying formula directly or second one where we have to find the unknown coordinates using the midpoint think think wonderful midpoint is already given so the unknown coordinates you have to find using method 2 now this one what about this is the midpoint given no in that case apply the formula so which method excellent first method we have to apply for this parallelogram okay d is the unknown coordinate b coordinates we already know midpoint we don't know so here b o d only b coordinates we know minimum requirement to find the midpoint or any other unknown coordinates is minimum you have to know two coordinates but here i know only one coordinate which is b so what can i do for this parallelogram let's think mm, midpoint of ac is it equal to midpoint of bd because it is coinciding yes it is so in that case now we know the midpoint of ac so let's apply that method two for this to get our answer so hope you like the video stay tuned bye